Hey 7th grade, Mr. Josh here. Welcome to Logic Class. Online. Today we continue in our introduction to logic. This is Lesson 11. Reasoning through problems is actually made easier when we classify things into groups. We can see how those things and groups are related and even how those groups relate to other groups. Those groups are called sets. A set is a group of people, things, ideas, or even statements that have things in common. Here's a visual example. Let's create our own set so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. The set that we're creating we'll call students. All the kids that go to school would be part of the set entitled students. And remember, a set is simply a group. So this group is entitled students. Any child that does not go to school would not be a part of this group or this set. In fact, they would probably be a part of a different set. Now check this out. Things that are in a set are called elements. So if you find yourself being a child put into the set called school, you would be considered an element in this case. When dealing with sets, there's almost always a way to make these sets smaller into more specific types of groups. For example, we could take the established set, students, and actually break it down even more. We can create what's called a subset. We could take a specific group of students and entitle them seventh graders. This subset is a small group found within another set. All of the elements of the subset 7th graders would also be the elements of students. Sets are usually represented by circles, and more than likely you've already seen this before. What's the matter, Billy? That guy who does those videos, he was putting together a set entitled Students, and uh, he didn't put me in that set. I just feel a little left out. Well, Billy, that leads us to a very important lesson in life. Sometimes we don't get to be a part of everything. Sometimes people are called to be students. Sometimes people are called to be fry cooks. Yeah, and I guess it's just kind of tough because I want to be a student. To be honest with you, no one is stopping you. You can go back to school and be a student anytime you want. Really? You think so? I know so. You're 47 years old. You do what you want. You're right. I can do what I want. Thank you. Now get back to flipping burgers. We have orders to fill. <laughs> 